You'd think it was the dream break, a role in a famous Broadway musical, a chance to strut your stuff. Except the strutting in this case is all done on roller skates, and the 19 Kiwis cast in Starlight Express have never pulled on a pair of skates in their lives. So it's a two-month crash course, literally, I suspect, for some, before the show opens. Donna Marie Lever rolled along to skating school. Get that right foot back, Tarm, and get on that left leg and Z it. Move it! Move! Plie, you're on straight legs. Body up, Rob. Keep your Not body just up. thrown together, people. Lean. Are you leaning to the left? Skating 101, basic. Isn't that better? And a little bit like boot camp. Huh? That's because skating around in circles Dance. is one thing, but in two months they all need to be ready to do this. It's huge, that's what I mean. There's an awful lot of work to do, and every minute counts. No. Sorry, I'm not a skater. No, they actually, they want um, wanted singer dancers. Um, and then, yeah, they teach us the skating bit. It's quite a big bit, though. It's a huge bit. Yeah, I don't, yeah. But obviously Michael knows what he's doing because they've done it around the world, so. And he does. He's hand-picked 19 Kiwis from the auditions by making them do a simple test to show if they can cut it in skates. Well, this looks better to me. We just put the arms out in front like this and we just squat all the way down. And what's that tell us? And this shows us how, how this bends here. And if this can bend, then we know that they can use their quads and their legs and their legs are strong. If they don't bend very much, like they're just like this, it's going to be a lot harder. It's so funny. It's, yesterday we spent the whole time giggling because it's really hilarious watching people just even try to get to the toilet, like climb up the stairs to go to the toilet. It's just such a mission. Like these ramps come onto stage um, for the stunt skaters to do like tricks on and tricks over. Et cetera, Michael et Rand is the other um, skate guru on hand to teach and knows this stage like the back of his hand. On and off, I've been doing it uh, since 1987 in London. Um, I've done the London production, the German production, the uh, Japanese production, um, and the UK tour and the Scandinavian production, and now I'm here in um, New Zealand. So it's no wonder he can easily turn on a few of these for us off the cuff. Just amazing. You, you can't even imagine being able to do that. Have you had many, any close calls? Injury-wise? Yeah. Yeah, I've had injuries. We were coming down a hill and, and one of the trains had to overtake me. And as he was overtaking, he clipped my skates. And so I just went down and like this muscle just burst. And that's always in the back of the newbies' minds. Although they can't quite imagine getting to this level just yet. Yesterday, just getting the skates on was a mission, you know, getting up the stairs, so you just... And there's always this fear, like, what if I can't do it? What happens, you know, if I actually physically am going to be like the goober on stage that can't do anything? They're in here six hours a day, or ten to six, that's eight hours a day, you know. They get a little lunch break, okay. But um, they're on their skates, and... That's very, very important. Andrew Lloyd Webber's Starlight Express celebrates its 25th anniversary in New Zealand. More than 24 million people have seen it so far. But it's been tailored to our stage, and so have the skates. Bits have been flown in from almost every corner of the globe. Yeah, practically. Uh, we did have quite a search for wheels. Um, the wheels that we use are very hard to find, so I think we got them from Australia. We got the boots from America, we got the plates from America, Los Angeles as well, although we brought some parts from Germany as well to put them together. And that's so they can go fast, really, really fast. I haven't clocked it on this set, but I know those ramps. I've been on those ramps and you do get a lovely bit of speed coming off of there. It's pretty hair raising, um, especially like for the new guys. Um, when they first get on here, they'll be picking up some speed that they never thought they would have been. That first show is going to be a doozy.